This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Jordan versus Pack. You all are engaged. You've been together for two and a half years. Ms. Pack, you have just recently moved out of the house and allegations of cheating are destroying this relationship. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Your eyes are telling me you've got something you need to say about this. What's this doing to your relationship? It's ruining it. I'm here to prove to him that I've never cheated on him. He's very jealous. He's very insecure. He said he wanted a younger woman, but he can't handle me. I don't know, Mr. Kyle, about being handled, but okay. <laughs> when you say he's jealous, what do you mean? He's jealous. If there's any man around, oh, you're looking at him, you're gonna flirt with him, he always feels like there's a threat of me being with some, some other man. And you're saying, I don't want to be with anybody but you. Exactly. And he's yes, not Sean. listening to that. No, he's not. Mr. Jordan, she says she's not cheating. You don't believe that. I don't believe you, Honor, because her actions, you don't like when she goes out, she doesn't answer her phone. We don't have sex anymore, you honor. We don't even get a, we don't we don't talk to each other like you know, we're not best friends like we used to be. It's just our relationship is just totally different. So I feel like somebody else is involved. It's just so, not us two. Your man's intuition is saying something's wrong, and the wrong, wrong is cheating. It's cheating. Okay. It's cheating. Now you mentioned that he can't handle a younger woman. I noticed here from the court papers that there is a 30-year age difference between you two. Yes. That's Mr. Right. Jordan. <laughs> That's right. Some people want to give you a high five. I, I, I'll refresh. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll give him a high five. Yeah. And then they say, yeah. folks are like, what? And they down low, man. Yeah. They down here. <laughs> How does a 50-year-old man meet a younger woman? I was walking through the mall. I had just drunk some coffee, you know. I'm feeling good, excited. And look, I see Zay. So I'm like, I got to get to know her. So I shot my shot. <laughs> you know, we talked for a few minutes, we exchanged numbers, and then I sent her a text, she sent me a text back, and we went from there. All right. That's well, that's, that's one way to get it done. That's how you do it. <laughs> what was it about uh, him None. that made you say, Okay, let me, let me talk to you. His eyes, he, sm he talk really smooth. His smile, he not backing down. Once he want what he want, that's what he gonna get. So, and it wasn't rude. He just it's fun. I wouldn't have guessed he was 50. I mean, you look, you, you well. Yeah, he look good, good well for his preserved. age. Mm -hmm. That's how I got it. All that's right. how I got it, you know? What happened to destroy the trust between you two? We got into an argument on a Saturday morning because I, I felt like Zay was cheating because how she lied about her whereabouts, doesn't answer phones. So I decided to tell a lie that I had messed around with somebody to make her mad. And it got her so mad, she said, I've been holding this in. I did sleep with our neighbor. <laughs> so you baited the trap and she fell for and it. And she fell for it, you know. Then she reversed it. She said, I was lying. I just said that to make you mad, to see how you was gonna react. But Ms. Pat, I don't believe she was not. Your Honor, the reason why I said that, he had been asking me for like six months and uh, accusing me, oh, you're, you're sleeping with this guy, you're sleeping with this guy. And then he says, oh, I slept with my ex. So I'm like, I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. I did sleep with him, but I never did. I never cheated on him. But, but that's know, what he wanted. He was, he was pressing for it. Okay, can we I take felt... a time out right here? Mm -hmm. May I just suggest, <laughs> for future reference, mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't use spite and anger as a weapon. It will never... <laughs> it will never get you the results you want. We have an agreement. We have an agreement, right, Mr. Cutler? We have an agreement. That when you're that mad, just step away. And one of the things we try to do is never say anything that you can't take back, mm -hmm. whether it's a bad comment, whether it's a nasty name. And once you put out there, well, I slept with so-and-so, it's hard to say, I was just doing that to make you mad. I didn't really do that. Because that seed is already planted in their head and you can't get rid of it. You so can't you, unring the bell. You cannot unring the bell. So you definitely don't want to do that. But you say that she lies about her whereabouts and you have some suspicions about this particular neighbor. Yes, sir. Okay, what is it about this neighbor that caused you to believe that she's cheating with him? I work 2 in the morning to 11. So what I decided to do was leave a voice recorder underneath our bedroom dresser. Ooh. While I'm uh, at something work. Something to record it? Something to record it. Oh. <laughs> and when I came home, I listened to it. And to me, I know I heard a man's voice in our bedroom. Ooh. 
but they say that it was one of her family members' voice. Then the phone got dis got wet and no longer worked, so we can't hit the recording no more. She destroyed it. Oh. Your Honor, that, All right. is, that is not true. For for yes, one thing, Willis has a habit. He talks to himself. Before he went to work that day, he was talking. <laughs> he was talking. When he re rewind back the recording to me, that was his voice. So Wait a on minute. top on top it of was that, like three hours on top into of that, the he, he kept, when I read the on top of that, he kept he took a shower later that day. He kept the phone. So how did I how did I destroy it? Did he, you tell him it was a family member in your bedroom and that's whose voice it was? Because that's what he's saying you told him. It was family members there. Then why'd you say it was his voice? It was because him talking when, himself. When it first started, there was somebody talking. It had to be him. Nobody else was up until later. If it was one later on, that was once the family members woke up. It had to be them, because I was asleep. The whole time he was at work, I was asleep. So how could I cheat on him? And you're saying there were no other men in your bedroom that you were having sexual relations no, with? No, there was not, Your Honor, no. And Mr. Jordan, you don't believe that? I do not believe that, Your Honor. Has Ms. Pack done anything else to make you think she's yes, cheating? Yes, she teases me with sex. <laughs> She'll get up like an hour before I go to work, take a shower, get back in bed with no clothes on. They okay. would not let me touch her. If you're not wanting to have sex with me and we home together every day in the bed every night, Ms. All right, as, Ms. as many Ms. guys as you yeah, say talking Your to Honor, you. I don't believe in giving my body to somebody who doesn't respect me. And sometimes we don't finish because in the middle of it, he'll stop and ask me, oh, did you sleep with this guy in the middle, in the middle of sexual intercourse? I don't think I know. So at that, that, so at that point, it's like I'm not even turned on anymore. Like, uh, no, thank you. That's yeah. not true. She says she's not teasing me, but we've been in the house. She'll put her, my favorite dress, house dress that she know I love, with no underwear or nothing on it, then ask me to rub her feet. Then if I try to go further, stop. You can't do that. Why come in and show me all that and you know what I'm gonna wanna do once you show it to me? <laughs> well, Miss Pack, I mean, I mean let's, let's just cut to the chase. Are you teasing him with sex? No, everything's not about sex. Just because I want to walk around with my dress and no underwear, I should do that. Everything's not about sex. You, sh but, you should okay. be able to look at me and not touch me as your woman, but, appreciate me with your eyes. Come so. on, she, she is saying, look, he is bringing up infidelity in the middle of sex. That's not sexy. That's not gonna make me hot for you. And I get that. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yeah, I, I get all that. But the, the fundamental issue here, what Mr. Jordan is saying is, she's a 20-year-old, vibrant young woman. She's gotta be having sex with somebody if it's not me. That's his issue. Am I right? Yes, you're right. You're 100% right. Okay. Uh, you keep saying she lies about her whereabouts. What do you her mean whereabouts. by that? Okay. Our child had his one-year physical coming up. So then she makes an um, appointment on a Monday, and then she pops up with this interview all of a sudden. Okay, Plus is this me, the exhibit that you brought? Yeah. Okay, I got can the you evidence. step to the plasma? Mm -hmm. So she makes an appointment for a physical. She makes an appointment for a physical. Okay. And then she come up with an interview the same day for the appointment. Okay. So she goes about a mile down the street to her appointment, which is at the beauty store. So I'm in the doctor's office. I check the GPS, because I check it to see which, you know, I don't trust that she's where she's supposed to be. Her GPS shows her leaving the beauty store, going to this hotel from 10.15 to 11. Huh. All right. So now I'm heated like that. So I got the kids, we walking down the street to the beauty store. I check it again. It shows her back at the beauty store. From 11.03 to 12.06. She's there for an now hour. Now she's back at the beauty store. She was at the hotel for 40, 45 minutes. So you believe she was at the hotel with a man? Yes. Yes. Miss Pat. Yes, Shauna. Why were you at the hotel for 45 minutes? I was never at the hotel, and I told him that he could go into the, the beauty shop and ask her to pull her cameras to show to show him I never left. He wouldn't. He didn't want to. He just okay. wanted to accuse me and accuse me, accuse me. And the I GPS told him before, a couple weeks before that we were there, and I went back to that date and I showed him. It comes up as the hotel address. It's already in his mind. So, so is it possible, Mr. Cutler, given the proximity? that it accidentally pinged at a different spot? I'm just, Look, I'm just putting it out there. Well, you know, I got another example, if I could, about the GPS. Okay. Okay. You, oh, back okay. To the Go back. Okay. <laughs> we live here. Okay. We get into an argument on the Saturday. Okay. They say I want to go stay at a family member's house. Okay. So here it is, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. 
It's an hour and two minutes away. I check her GPS, and it shows her here. So why is it pinging you five minutes from our house the whole night, moving around in this area, when you're telling me that you're in Baltimore? Then you go further to say it was you moving around. <laughs> when I know that I'm in the house in the bed. All right, Ms. Okay, Pat, Mr. George, thank you very one. much. Now, How are you five minutes away from where you're from your house your the Honor, whole night? This has happened before. He's called me and he saw that I'm I'm at my family member's house. So this time when it happens again, I guess he just decided I'm going with what I think. And I explained to him, if your GPS is on my phone and your phone, it'll go, it'll bounce back and forth. But he don't want to believe me. But I he know said I the care. GPS will bounce back and forth. He has my email, my email for the GPS on his phone and my phone. So sometimes it picks up both locations. And I try to break that down to him, that, but he didn't want to listen. So why is it showing you moving around if I'm in the house sleep? I can't be two places at once. If I'm in One the time, house sleep, you, you right there. Been Ms. Pack, I, I got to cut to the chase. Have you been with another man since you've been with Mr. Jordan? No, Your Honor, I have not. Never. Sound like you're nervous. And I'm all not of this... nervous. Well, Mr. Cutler, here's the testimony we have. First of all, you believe that Ms. Pack is cheating with a neighbor. Mm -hmm. The other is that you say that she lies about her whereabouts. And then the other is that you have noticed that your sex life has changed. Has changed tremendously. And then the, the final piece is she seems to be teasing you with the sex. Exactly. So all of those things together have convinced you, Mr. Jordan, that Ms. Pack is, in fact, cheating. Yes, ma'am. And if you find out that, in fact, she is cheating, this relationship will be over. Yes. It's killing you. Mm hmm So, Ms. Pack, you understand your relationship with Mr. Jordan is at stake. So before we continue with our investigation, we want to give you a chance to come clean and tell us what you need to tell us. Tell Mr. Jordan what you need to tell him at this point, right I now. I never... It's nothing to tell. I never cheated on him. Never. OK. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> at this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. How are you, Mr. Williams? Doing fine, thank you, Your Honor. You did a polygraph examination of Ms. Pack, is that correct? That's correct. You know, I'm looking at Mr. Jordan, mm -hmm. and you look utterly stressed. How are you doing? Not good. What's going through your mind right now? Um that I hope, um, that... Man, I love Zay so much, man. And I just hope she's not cheating. She's my dream woman. I mean, if I could pick one woman that I could be with, it would have been Zay. So are you ready to hear these results? Yeah, I'm ready. I just, I'm ready. All right. It's a lot of stake here, Mr. Williams. Yeah. Ms. Pack was asked, the day of your interview, did you have sexual intercourse with another man at the hotel near the beauty shop? What was Ms. Pack's response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? Your Honor, the lie detector determined she was being truthful. You know, Mr. Cutler, my hands are sweating. Yeah. I mean, I am... I... I'm so worried <clears throat> for him. It's, a, it's gonna Ms. be okay. Mr. Jordan, are you okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We, we still have one more question. Ms. Pack was asked, since the start of your relationship with Mr. Jordan, have you had sexual intercourse with any man other than Mr. Jordan? What was her response to that question? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? Regarding this question on sexual intercourse, Your Honor, the lie detector determined Ms. Spack was being truthful.
Miss <laughs> Pat, you about the coolest cucumber I've seen in a long time. Thank you. Would Mr. Jordan be able to turn around so you could move forward? Yes. Mr. Jordan, you came here for answers. Are you going to be able to let this go? Because in order for this relationship to go forward, you have got to trust her. And you already out the house right now, right? Yes, Your Honor. So she may not come back home. She She'll needs to hear it. She'll be back. Okay, but I'm, I'm she do won't what be. What I need to do to make sure that she come back. All right, and so that means you're going to be able to turn this thing around. I'm going to turn it around. For her, I can do that. All right. Ms. Pack, you heard it from his lips. Are you willing to come home and see if he can make it happen? No. You're not? <laughs> no, I don't want to be with him. It's, it's too much damage done. She says she don't want to be with me, right? I don't believe that. Say I'll be back home. But Go they ahead. say you, she don't want to be with me no more. I don't believe that. Don't. So, Mr. Jordan and Ms. Pack, I don't know that we're going to come to a final decision here. But what I want to suggest is that you all start off as friends and try to build that relationship. Mm -hmm. But you all need, definitely need some counseling to figure out where this goes. And we suggest you take advantage of our resources. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a trust-filled, happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.